I was just a simple rancher who was fascinated with ancient cities Pueblo people left behind. Although I wasn't an archaeologist, I became one after I found one of Colorado's ancient, most beautiful cities, Mesa Verde. December 18, 1888. I was a 30-year-old man, married and a rancher. Life was normal. Nothing out of the ordinary happened, but some of my cattle went missing one day. I went out into the wilderness looking for my cattle that had disappeared. I wasn't sure where they went, so I went looking everywhere. As I went out looking for my cattle, a major snowstorm had come in from a distance. The snow made everything difficult to see, so I wasn't able to find my cattle any sooner. So cold and hard to see, I noticed something in the cliff, so I got closer to see what it was. As I got closer, I realized that what I had found was a village built out of stone on the edge of a cliff. I was so amazed when I saw this wonderful village. When I stumbled upon this magnificent city known as Mesa Verde in Montezuma County, Colorado, I decided to go explore the different artifacts that were left behind by the Pueblo people. As I was exploring this wonderful place, I found over 600 cliff dwellings and many collapsed buildings. Still exploring, I saw that the rooms had T-shaped doorways. The rooms were about 8 feet long, 6 feet wide, and 5.5 and feet high, and I found more than 150 rooms. As I was observing different artifacts, I noticed that the dry climate keeps artifacts from rotting and molding, which was very helpful. After I found Mesa Verde, I became an archaeologist and a guide for visitors because after my discovery, it brought many people to Mesa Verde. Becoming an archaeologist helped me learn a lot more about Mesa Verde and its mysteries. I learned that Mesa Verde occupies 81.4 square miles. Mesa Verde also contained about 100 to 120 people at a time. A fact about Mesa Verde is the Spaniards named Mesa Verde Mesa Verde because it's shaped of the green on the trees and bushes. Mesa in Spanish is raised land with flat top and steep sides. And verde means the color green. So a nickname for Mesa Verde was Green Tableland. The Pueblo people had lived in Mesa Verde from 550 AD to 1300 AD and the village sits in a shallow cave about 600 feet above the floor of Soda Canyon. As I studied Mesa Verde, I found out that Mesa Verde was built using sandstone, mortar, water, and wood. The people carved animal bones to make tools. In about 1300 AD, the ancestral Puebloan occupation of Mesa Verde ended. After the ancient Puebloans moved away from Mesa Verde, Nobody moved in afterward. Over time, I did projects such as the longhouse was evacuated between 1959 and 1961 as part of my Mesa archaeological project. My time as an archaeologist and guide for visitors really helped me uncover the many mysteries and facts about Mesa Verde. Overall, finding Mesa Verde was one of my greatest events in my life that made a big change.